and good evening everyone. This is MDog and we're looking at ESO. Today is February the 6th and today is the housing update. So we are um, kind of learning this as we go. Uh, the first thing I found here in Skywatch is um, what's being called the, if you see under the tavern thing, there's a chef and then there's two, um, two people that sell things having to do with home furnishing. One is achievement furniture and one is home goods furniture. Um, I don't know if the achievement furniture, let's look at this. Oh, sorry, this is the home goods furniture. So you see there's just a bunch of things for sale here, ranging in price all the way up to 25,000, which is a tiered white cherry tree. Um, and so while there are a lot of things that he's selling here, I don't know if this is what all of the similar um, merchants will sell or if it's going to be different per merchant per area. Um, obviously I think a lot of the furnishings you get will be by drops and by crafting, but uh, some of them will also be my merchants apparently. So this is the achievement one and um, it kind of shows you, so it looks like this one we're not able to buy because it says Auradon Adventurer Achievement is required. So it basically you have to have certain achievements to purchase these it looks like uh, these are also pretty pretty um, pretty pricey so uh, this is just so you kind of know where we are here we're in Skywatch um, and just outside the city of Skywatch actually but it looks like to start the quest to get your free dwelling place it appears to me that you actually have to go through the, the crown store um, and and I suppose they're doing this to say that you see that a lot of the housing stuff is for sale in the crown store uh, many of the housing options you can either purchase with crowns or with good in-game in gold although I understand to purchase one that's actually furnished you have to do that with crown currency with crowns you can't do that with in-game so um, they are pushing you a little bit towards the cash shop here but um, I think this is going to be so this says it's free I think this is going to be the opening quest that gives us the ability to unlock our first free dwelling but we'll, we'll figure that out together here so it says a friend in need housing brochure we're going to confirm that and then we're going to exit out and let's see if that came to our all right so we use this following note accompanies a brochure tacked under it tired of being out in the cold or living in room from in room to in room seek out your seek out cantheon for your home ownership needs so we take the brochure and this should be a new f a new quest right all right so let's make this our active one meet him in oridon okay so back in our sort of main starting city here so let's go ahead and recall to there so we can go check it out I'm guessing I don't really have anything to furnish it with, although it may be possible that they give you some starter items. Perhaps not. We'll find out shortly, I guess. So this shows up in your quest log once you've accepted the free starter item out of the crown store. And we need to go here. Okay. Oh, it looks like the patch broke add-ons. I see that my add-ons aren't. <laughs> uh, at least some of them are not updated yet. Yeah, just pretty much everything is out of date now. So, I guess that's what new patches do. They're doing their job. And there may be updates already that I just haven't downloaded yet. All right, let's go see if we can find the person we need to talk to. Does it show where in here he is? Wait, am I right that I'm supposed to be in here? Yeah, so it looks like he's on the edge. Is he downstairs or upstairs? We don't want to steal. All right, here he is. So 
So we did find Cantheon. If you're here about the You'll need to return I'm dealing with someone. Forge seen complications. What seems to be the problem? Until recently, Bulog Idolus was my tenant. When I learned she used my property to run a skooma operation, she broke into my office and absconded with the deed. Without it, the guard does nothing. They don't believe I own the place. It's a total... Anything I can do to help? I... Yes, yes you can. I can't have the place tarnishing my good name. If you recover the deed and key, I'll sign it over to you. Bulag Idolas had a falling out with her old partner. Zugograph, I think. Try finding him wherever scum accumulates in town. So suddenly, a lot of people are selling decorative items. Uh, and these are probably items that you can get pretty cheaply or easily, and they're just trying to make some money off of it. Um, Alright, so we got to go talk to this person, and he's going to be in the... Hold on, let me remember where this... The Outlaw Den is in this town. I'm not sure if I've actually been to the Outlaw Den in this town. We may have some things to fence anyway, I can't remember. Okay, it's right there. So one thing that's interesting is I hear that you can use like your pets or uh, companions. You can place them in the house, like almost like decorations basically. So it'll be interesting to see how that system works. It'd be cool if the Outlaws Refuge maybe had its own vendor that sells, um, like, you know, art and things like that that can go at your, you in your home. We'll see. thing. Uh, here they are. You over here. Oh, maybe not. This place is nice, but it's not a home. Feels like I'm hiding down here. I don't know if that's right or not. No. There they are. Okay. We'll have to come check and see if they're selling anything here in the Outlaws Den that has to do with housing now. But my loyalty, huh. so you do know how this works. I searched your place the night she left town. Okay. All right, fencing, general goods. Let's see if they have anything here. Yes. So you have to have achievement achievements for some of this, but it is furnishing. They do have some furnishing things. Uh, looks like all the furnishing things require achievements that I don't have. So perhaps some of this is going to be gated per DLC expansion. The cheapest house is a broom closet, and the actual houses are all in rather odd locations, mostly in the higher level areas. But there's a mansion in Strosvkaya that I won't. How much is the mansion? It's going to be pricey, right? Under the lock picks just for funsies. All right, so they're not, they're actually not selling anything over here. So we're probably good to just go back out of here. All right, so this quest continues on. All right, so the mansion is 1.25 million gold or 6,500 crowns. And I don't know, people that have been playing this game for a long time and are actually at in-game and earning sort of the 
maximum amount of gold you would typically earn. I don't know if 1.25 million is, is, is a lot or, uh, or not, but I mean, we've been playing this character a week and a half or so, I believe, and we have 7,000 gold, so we're not even dreaming of stuff like that. All right, and we are to go, uh, where are we going? Green shade. I don't want to. Hold on. I'm trying to just click on the map here. There we go. Alright, so right here. Looks like it's in the delve. So we'll just come to here. Speaking of gold, we are spending our gold traveling around the world here. But that's okay. It's not hard to earn gold, uh, you know, in the hundreds or even like thousand or so per session at my level, but, um, to make the kind of gold that you need to buy some of the more expensive housing, that's brutal. I don't know why it keeps zooming way in on the map. All right, so we're trying to go out to this delve. Yeah, I hear you, hero. It's a lot of gold to me as well. You found a way to make 7,000 a character pretty easily each day. Hmm. That's like 7,000 is how much I have total right now. So making 7,000 a day on a character would be pretty good. One foot after the other and eyes forward, Helwyn. Best yeah. not look left behind. You see a lot of people heading over to the area that we need to go to as well. So apparently we're doing this uh, intro, intro, intro quest to earn our free bloom, broom closet. Is that what you're saying, hero? The free house is the broom closet. <laughs> So I understand that you can put crafting stations in your house. Uh, I guess that's once you have a big enough house to hold something that size. All right, we need to go all the way down there. I would assume that everything in here will pretty much be dead since lots of people are going this way. And I think you can preview, maybe we'll do that after we actually unlock our, our broom closet, but I think you can preview what the... Oh. Preview what the houses look like before you purchase them in the crown store at least. fight all these guys. Not only can you put crafting stations, but you can get stations attuned to special crafting sites for easy armor set crafting. Oh, that's neat. I had not heard that. Alright, this is the person we're looking for. All the moment. Let's not do anything hasty. The only I am, and it seems I wasted gold. You're you're here to repossess that hole in the wall? I only stole Deal! Take it! Alright, so now we have to go back and talk to Cantheon. What's up, buddy? Hey there! So, do you like your square home? 
Oh, uh, I'm doing the intro quest. Oh, sorry. Okay, I won't say no more. No, hero, hero told me it was a broom closet. Yeah, it's nothing. It's it's a joke. <clears throat> Although I went out and was killing some stuff to try to level up some skills, and I opened a bag and I got a pattern. <laughs> I For like, wow, that didn't take long. Like an elf bunk bed or something. Oh, okay. Well, I see so many people selling stuff on the on the market. What? Are you in a guild that you can do that? I'm sorry, not on the market. Selling stuff through through uh, chat. chat. Yeah, I, I figure stuff must be dropping pretty regularly because there's so much stuff being listed. Yeah, they probably. I'd rather get the provisioning patterns personally. Well, this would not. Be, I mean, unless you just have unlimited gold, this would not be a good time to try to buy stuff because it's going to be overpriced. Oh yeah, don't buy. It. I mean, you had to. Oh wait, you're not done with the quest yet. Never mind. Display. All right. I see that all of my add-ons have uh, gone away. Yeah. Shoot. I was gonna see if they had updates. Yeah, I probably need to do that too. Oh, turn your add-ons off anyway. You'll need to for a part of that quest unless they pop fixed it. I think all of them are off. Let's see. My sky shard one was on. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna go update before I get in. Yeah, I need to open up minion as well. <clears throat> all right, so we're coming back to talk to Cantheon here. Back in Eridon, in the Mage's Guild. Wait, nope. In the Guard Manor and Treasury. Okay. Here's your deed and key. Good, but you should keep those. Almost. Before I sign it over, I'd like to ensure you'll furnish the place. Not to imply you're going to run skooma from the property. What does that mean, run skooma from the property? I'm starting to think skooma might be like a brothel. I I don't know. I'm just wondering. Okay. <laughs> the way they talk about it, it kind of sounds like... So there's only three updates I have on Minion. Yeah, I had two. But I might have different add-ons in the Excellent. I'll mark the address mm -hmm. on your map. Meet me at the property where some merchants sell furniture. Try there if you need something basic. You might get a better yeah. deal on quality furniture. Lorena. Have you tried to craft anything? Or no. Lorena. And then what are they doing? I don't know. Skuma is a drug, Hero said, so I guess it's like drug trading. Okay, okay so did it actually Where's my quest? Oh, okay, craft or purchase furniture for your home. Visit a home goods merchant, purchase merchants from a guild trader, or find a pattern and craft your own furniture. I don't know if there is a furniture merchant in this city. You gotta go to the major city. Well, <clears throat> Sky, the Sky city where your uh, thing will be is where it's at. They'll be right outside the, or right close to the inn. Okay, so go back to Sky. Sky, whatever it's called. Hero said it's like meth, pretty much. Mm. Prostitution, meth. I don't know if there's much difference. Yeah, my outfitter's down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so 
So is that really an option now to get involved with drugs to make extra money? That oh, I don't know. I think it might just be some story thing. Yeah. A little uh, flavor text. Yeah. Hero did say he found a way to make 7,000 gold a character pretty easily each day. So I'm wondering if he's not gotten himself involved in some skooma trading. <laughs> All right. So I went to the furniture merchant before. Before I even wait, is this the right place? This isn't the right place. Oh, there's a furniture. Okay, never mind. There is one in this town too. What's the first piece of furniture you should purchase for your house? So, so you, we don't have any like furniture at this point. No generic. Nope. Okay. So you really can't furnish it at all unless you just buy a bunch of stuff. I wouldn't get crazy. You'll see. <laughs> I would honestly save your money for the upgraded home. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, let's see. I did, but that's just the relentless murder and selective theft of persons from a specific area. Oh, that's how you're... Uh... <laughs> Alright. I at least want to purchase... I mean, everything costs 100 gold, so let's just purchase something that I wouldn't mind having. I don't really want any of this in my house. So, Ooh. does... Does this new housing system and having um, having I mean does it does it motivate you like Absolutely not. Really? Nope. Wow. Okay. A friend and he talked to Kathy on. Where does he want me to So do I go back to him again? Okay. They are just sending you all over. As I take two hours to kill a mom. Oh, how are you liking your new spec? Uh, it's extremely boring. You gonna switch back? Uh, no, it cost me 15,000 gold to put here. Fifteen. Anything, I'll probably re-roll a different character. <laughs> Wait, fifteen <laughs> thousand to get everything respect. It was about fifteen thousand. Wow. Hey, when I logged in, it said your skill points have been refurnished or refunded. Reset your skill points, and then I'm looking. It looked like none of them had been refunded. Man, I was gonna say I haven't gotten any of mine refunded. If yeah. I'd have known that, I'd have waited till this morning. <laughs> so that must have been a. An accidental post or whatever. All right, I think he's just right here, correct? Is the game running a little slower for you after the patch, or no? Mm. Like things. I mean, I don't know. Things. There's like, definitely a lot more people around. That's true. There's a lot more people on the server. The the um. I mean, when I was in my that main city that I had to go to, yeah. Uh -huh. I felt it was just a little glitchy, not yeah. bad, but I'm in Cold Harbor and there's nobody here, so yeah, it's fine. Okay. Some might think it modest, but I've always preferred to think of it as cozy. Yes, the house is yours, indeed. Mara's Kiss Public House. And we get a scroll that details properties in and out of Tamriel. And we get 235 gold, so at least we made money overall. Because we only spent a hundred on the furniture. I will say with this build, though, dude, that I'm pretty like I'm taking on an elite right now, and I'm taking no damage. Like maybe a little, but all I have to do is hit one button, and it's all repaired. Hmm. So, do you know where you go to talk to? Someone about the better furnishes, furnishing? No, I don't know. Okay. 
I honestly logged in, did that. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's just under the collections tab. Wow, there are oh, a lot you're of. Oh, talking about the ones you can make. The ones you can buy, yeah. And you can buy them in game or in the crown store. Oh shoot! Oh, okay. I don't want. I don't want to freaking go there. Okay. okay so in the, wow. In the collections tab is where you can buy a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean that's how you buy it in game. It looks like, and then, of course, you have to go. Well, I shouldn't say this is how you buy it. This is how you preview it. And it actually teleports you to the homes you can walk around and see it. But I don't know. Some of them require um, achievements to purchase. Mm. But what I don't know is where you, like, who you go talk to to actually make the transaction. Unless it's just in the crown store and there's an option. Let's see, where's houses? Houses. Autumn's Gate. Okay, you can also go preview from the okay. Crown Store, and it'll, it'll I, I assume, tr um, take you there as well. Why doesn't it tell you how much it cost? Staple, classic, notable. So these are the biggest ones I guess the only way to purchase a house is to be at the location oh that's cool okay so like the Eb the Ebenhart Ch Chateau that looks awesome so I'll try to let me look at the, the, the house we just got the quote unquote house we just got and then I'll transport to one and see what what that looks like we won't go to a mansion first that'll just be due too depressing all right, this is our Mara's Kiss public closet. I mean, house. I'm loading in. The suspense is killing me. <clears throat> Permanent tenant achievement. Oh. It is like a broom closet. Huh? And they see your name, but they have your name tag above All right, so you go to customizer by hitting F5. Select movable objects. Or place objects in your bank inventory or collections with R. To retrieve it, select it. F retrieve tab. Okay, so like I can put. I can put this guy down. Place him. Whoa. Okay, we can rotate. Ooh, that looks weird. Okay. Surface drag on a line and then place. Okay. So we placed a little pet. That's cool. You can put your pets and like uh, followers. You can put them in the house. All right. So yeah, I put my monkey in there. <laughs> All right. In the workshop, we have our stool. Let's go ahead and place it. Again, the Okay. And then F5 to exit. So we have decorated our house. There's not even room for a bed. I guess you could put like a cot or something in here. I got an achievement. It says harvest your first unit of decorative wax. Oh. Were you were you disenchanting stuff in the crafting station? No, no I'm I'm doing a delve. Oh, okay. So apparently, Hero was saying that not only can you put crafting stations in your houses, but you can put. Now that would be awesome. You can put set specific crafting stations. So to actually, you know, if you have a favorite set of armor, you know, like a mm -hmm. set piece or whatever, you can put one of those in there. Now that would be awesome. That makes me excited about doing housing. Well, there's, it seems like there's a lot that you just kind of, I mean. Oh, wow, I just got another pattern. You're like, going to want to go delve running. Does that seem like the best place to get it? Well, let me go with you. I don't know, because I just got a diagram Nord Lantern cage. Well, let me come with you. I'll help you kill stuff faster. Um, okay. But let me just, real, um, let me real quick, just, I want to preview, I'm going to, um, you know, go to one of these other housing locations and just preview a new one. 
Do we'll you just... have access? To... You have Cold Harbor. You can go to Cold Harbor, right? I have no idea. I'll, I'll, we'll just get in a group and I'll come to you. I haven't been there yet <laughs> since the tutorial. All right, let's just go to, we'll go to a staple house, which I'm assuming these are the smallest ones. So probably the first ones we'd be able to afford. And let's go to the Hammer Death Bungalow. All right, so we're going to transport there. I just want to see like a house that's actually big enough to do something in. It may be small, but at least it's gloomy. And if you enjoy beating up on your friends like I do, it's right next door to the arena. <laughs> That's awesome. I think this looks pretty cool. Like, if you got a lot of furnishings, and I mean, it's been, I don't know. It, it seems like they might do some cool stuff with them. I'm kind of excited about the housing system. They definitely, it's definitely a carrot they're putting out there, though. It's going to take a long, okay. So, this is about, I don't know. One, maybe six, seven times as big as your broom closet. It has a lantern, a couple lanterns instead of a candle. It's about as big as my wife's closet. The, what, the, the small size house? <laughs> yeah, well, that's an apartment. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, I am previewing the first size house, like the, up, the first upgrade you would get to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I left my broom closet and came to the first house. It's got a fireplace. And have you already seen this? You talking to me? Yeah. No, I haven't, I haven't been to any other. Oh, okay. Okay. It's kind of cool. It's got a fireplace, a couple windows, and a door. It's not huge. How much is that one? I don't know yet. I'm about to exit and see if I can figure out how you would purchase it. It looks like it has a loft upstairs. So I'm assuming you could... I mean, it's not big, but I'm assuming you could put a ladder or something up there and you could put your crafting stuff up on the ledges in the loft which would which would actually be sweet so let's see how much this one cost that parchment you get from getting your first house is a usable item that lit which lists the ones that are in which price range okay uh, I didn't see prices on the parchment but maybe I didn't look close enough all right so here's Oh, it put me back outside of... That's weird. Okay, let's go back to this parchment. <laughs> You're interrupting me. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see prices on here, Hero. Press. Oh, press F5 to see the purchase options. Shoot. So I need to go back. All right, let's go back. Wait, do you mean press 5 inside the house? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Okay, let's go back. We'll go to a different one this time, though. Let's go look at Sisters of the Sands apartment. There aren't prices, but the first few are the cheapest, then mid-tier, and then the mansion class. Yeah. So, wasn't there something about a castle, or is that what they're considering the mansions? Or maybe it's something... Do what? I think it's the mansions. Hmm. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so this house is even smaller. Okay, F5 for purchase. Oh, dude, this only costs 12,000 gold. Is it pretty nice? Yeah, I wish I would have looked how much the other one was, but I assume it was similar. I mean, this one is... This one's probably only four times as big as your broom closet, but it looks really cool. The, the one I went to before that was in the same price range was probably seven times as big as your broom closet and 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 look also looked pretty cool and it had that little loft area but yeah this one and you can look at it furnished which to buy a furnished house cost eight you have to do crowns but like oh this looks awesome really cool so it just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with furnishings I love this yeah this is this is really neat so it looks like they've put windows out let's let's go back to the unfurnished one so it, 
No, the windows are already there. I was going to say it looked like they added windows, but they didn't. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. So let's see. Let's go to the middle tier and just see what the jump up in price is. I mean, I assume this is going to be a couple hundred thousand or something, but we'll see. Let's go to the Strident Springs Demis. I don't know how to say that. Oh, and it does say on that note, press F5 to see purchase options. That's... I just missed that, so thank you, Hero. Yeah, I'm totally motivated to try to get some um, furnishings play, and stuff. Play ESO again? <laughs> oh, I haven't lost my motivation to play ESO. <laughs> I'm just so torn, man. I was loving Lotro when we got back into this. So I'm just torn, but I'm, I'm really enjoying ESO as well. It's not that I'm not enjoying it. Wait, what? This is the home? Oh, holy cow, dude. Oh, this is 1.28 million. So, it's interesting because this is considered middle tier. But maybe each tier have different prices. Maybe this is one of the nicer middle tiers. Because this has like a huge courtyard with a waterfall. I mean, this is so nice. If this is this nice, I can't imagine what the mansions are going to be like. But let's go in here and see how big the inside is. Oh, yeah, dude. It's got two levels. It's ginormous compared to the other ones that I've been looking at. Let's see it furnished. Let's see what this looks like furnished. This is kind of something cool to... Oh, so one thing I want to know is... Oh, man. I love to look at these things furnished. There's, like, upstairs bedrooms, several bedrooms upstairs. One thing I want to know is, like, when you hit in-game and you're actually running, you know, in-game content and stuff, how how quickly does the gold come? Like, is 1.28 million gold going to take me a year to earn? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to know. How, have you noticed, like, are you getting a lot more gold now that you're at max level? Mm, I've just been questing. I don't know. Okay. I, I not I, mean, I don't know. I spend as much I well I went back down, so Right. <laughs> I was up to about forty three thousand. Okay. But when I started I had about ten, so playing from level thirty eight to here was about thirty thousand gold, I guess. Okay. And what's your total now? Mm, tell you in a second. Okay. Uh, 36. Okay, so you could buy the lowest level tier houses probably if you just wanted to. All right, so this one is another middle tier, and it's only 190,000 gold. So that feels, especially like for you, that feels like something like you actually could. And it has a huge outside area as well. Let's we'll see if this is two different houses. I guess it is. Okay, let's go in here. I mean, I don't like the style of this. This is more like in the style of a wood elf or something but or not even wood elf but i don't know what it is it's a bolt it's like one of those tree elf things it's a boulder tree refuge oh this is tiny yeah you wouldn't want this this isn't any bigger in terms of the like space it's not any bigger than what um some of those early tier houses were it just has a huge outdoor area which i guess if you can place stuff outdoors that would still be nice but Let's see if they have anything outside. No, but they play stuff in this first area. Hmm. I mean, this is cool. I mean, you would have, like, at least room here, but... Alright, let's just exit out of this one. Okay, so it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Alright, man, do you want to group up? Yeah. Alright, well, let me... Uh... 